Right now, every school in the Beaverton district is on lockout. That means no one can get in or out of the buildings without permission. School district officials say they've had several violent threats against the schools. Cor Harlan is live with more on this, Cor. Hi, Jenny and Ken. We're live at Westview High School this noon where students are standing out, a lot of them out here amidst uh, a large contingent of uh, sheriff's deputies and police here. A lot of these kids are waiting for parents to pick them up uh, from school here. Uh, last night's threat, it was a Facebook threat, a general district-wide threat, became more urgent and more serious at about 7.20 this morning when somebody actually telephoned a threat into the main office here at Westview High School. I didn't know about this until I got into my first period, and I was, um, I was in one of the corner classrooms over there, so I could see the teachers panicking, going through the front door, and like trying to get everything organized, trying to keep people calm. It has been, to say the least, an unusual morning for students at Beaverton's Westview High School. On the heels of what the district says have been two separate threats, a Facebook threat last night and a direct phone call to the Westview student offices this morning, school officials declared a district-wide lockout late this morning after the second threat was made. You can sense some sort of tension between everyone. But our people weren't like totally freaking out about it. Um, but yeah, the mood was kind of tense, and uh, people were just being cautious and kind of being wary. Uh, my mom was just really worried because of the threat, and I thought she might as well pick me up just to be safe. The slow and steady stream of parents leaving Westview kept up this morning. The threats on the minds of students and on the nerves of parents. Was not able to focus, I can say, on my daily things. The authorities, police, and deputies maintained a presence at Westview's main door as a regularly scheduled early release got even earlier. All right, back out to your live picture. Now, that's the front view at Westview. They do have early release today, and there will be a, uh, although there's, uh, we've heard of no uh, organized real plan for letting people exit the building here. There will be a police presence here, no doubt, here at Westview High School in the wake of what you say is at least two threats that have been made here, both of the district and this specific school here, in the last 24 hours, Jenny and Ken. And by the way, I should also say all of the extracurricular activities, the night activities here at Westview, have also been canceled. Yeah, and I know as a parent of kids in the Beaverton School District, their school on lockout as well, and they've told us if we want to pick up the kids for the normal early release day, which is on Wednesday every week, that we need to go into the school and check the kids out. So right. lots of information. Right, they, they're, they're making... They're making parents show IDs, get mm -hmm. met up with their kids, and then back out to the car together just to avoid any any, any potential problems. Yeah. All right, what they call an abundance of caution. Yes, they're right. safe and sorry. Yep. All right, thank you very much.